Sure. Motorcyclist sped through a parking lot, parked, and entered a gas station. I don't While the that. rider was inside, the officer ran the temporary plates on the motorcycle, which returned to a 19-year-old male named Isaac. Additionally, it was discovered that Isaac held a restricted motorcycle permit, mandating helmet use and daylight riding. Despite this, he was riding without a helmet well into the night. Like y'all. Minutes later, he left the store. You know what? Realistically speaking, I don't even know how y'all use the internet without a helmet. Like all of y'all in the chat right now. I'm gonna be honest. Once more, sped through the parking lot. Upon initiating a traffic stop, Isaac promptly accelerated once more, reaching a speed of 80 miles per hour. Eventually, Isaac arrived at the road's end, steering into the grassy area. As a result of this maneuver, the motorcycle spun out and yeeted him off into the abyss, from where he then fled on foot. It's going to be a 10.50 at the end of Viking. I got a white male, pink t-shirt, black pants running into the woods. And see, he was dumb enough to open up the door when they show up to his house in the same fit, most likely. That's y'all for real. And he left his motorbike right there. Yes, motorbike. Couldn't be me. 716, Minnesota temp tag, 0221. Yeah, I lit him up. He took off on me and I got you know, he wrecked out on the grass. Yeah, you want to put that down? Okay. Please, thank you. Everything's good. 716 to the county unit. You want to go again? I got my two kids and wife. Okay, I just had someone. What the fuck? Motorbike ULL. I said motorbike. I've been saying motorbike for, for years. Y'all just going to have to catch on. This is crazy. Why did he say that? They got for me. They ran into the woods. Yeah, I have to see it. I, I do have... What the fuck? You're not even under investigation. Yeah. Why are you snitching on yourself? Tim Fort, if they want to go west of the scene and try to see if they can locate... Nigga, it. shut up and close the window. You want me to open the camera? I got camera on the Oh, my God. Um, if you want to, but I should be good. This nigga is purposely involving himself in a case, bro. Somebody left behind a motorcycle. Be quiet. Just if your doors are locked, just... I never seen nobody volunteer to snitch before. Should sure, stay locked. Thank you. And if you just want to know, reason for the stop was speed, reckless driving, and the RO is does not have a valid license for Class M. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he listening to? Oh, that is so funny. Uh, attempted traffic stop on Viking. They got to the... Well, they took off. <laughs> it's got so to the crazy. End, the grass, so the driver took off running. <laughs> Damn, nigga, chill! Looking at license photos, it looks like the RL is going to be the rider. Younger male, curly hair, look like a pink shirt, dark colored pants. It's not that serious. He ran up in here somewhere. I gotta stay with the bike though, cause he took the key. Yeah. What's up? You want me to put the lights on on the back? Ah, uh, no, we're good. Thank. Bro, if the police are in your vicinity and they have not knocked on your door, do not go outside looking to cooperate, and they have not asked you for nothing. Niggas are crazy, bro. Thank you though. Okay. Oh, my, I swear to God, he got to be the worst neighbor of all time. I'm not going to lie. Like, the whole community should just gang up on this nigga and just take him in the garage and beat him with bats. He ran that way? Did you see him, like, duck down or something? Uh, I knew gonna camera. Nah, bro. Yep, yep. <laughs> this nigga is dick riding uh, so hard. Yep, I was right behind him. I seen him run up there. I just, Nigga said he's seen it. Oh, I, I, I got to make sure you see this, bro. Did you see it in HD? I just didn't know if he, you seen him. Okay. Down. But I'll actually probably grab that camera footage from you if you're going to stay awake. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Well. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, he nah, ran up into bro. the woods back that way, but he took the keys with him. He just stay so at home. Okay, I see I what's going on, bro. So fast. Nine oh five's heading your way. I gotta stay with the bike. That's actually oh, crazy. So <laughs> no reward. Is insane. Track him down. Tried to light him up back there. He came flying down here. Did not realize it was a dead end. Hit the wet grass and over. But he took the keys, so there's no way for me to secure the bike. Seven sixteen nine oh five. Where you at? Several other law enforcement agencies arrived and assisted with searching for Isaac. However, they were unsuccessful in locating him. Damn, Isaac got away. Dubs. No. All right, moving before I get eaten. No, no, stop. No, stop. I already grabbed his plate prior to him even getting to quick trip. No. <laughs> Canine being an ass. All right, you're good. Having obtained Isaac's complete information from the license plates, including his address, the officer oh, no. decided to pay a visit to his residence. God First damn it. Her, I got his address. I looked at his picture prior to him going into Quick Trip, and there's going to be cameras at Quick Trip. I watched him hit that grass. I knew it was a dead end. I was like, you're fucked. <laughs> he hit that grass, and he's just like, boom. Upon arrival, his mother answered the door and seemed puzzled by their presence. God damn it. <laughs> Isaac, no. Police department. Police department. Oh my. Hi. Hi. Oh my. Hi. Who are you? Hello. My mama would never. Hey, I'm looking for Isaac. Oh shit. No. Uh, okay. I don't know if he's home. Okay. He ran. Good response, mom. Very good response. I like that out of you. I like that out of you. I like that out of you. She gave a good response. Hey, for me on his motorcycle. Are you shitting me? No. Okay, never mind. What's up, Pooch? No, oh, yeah, he's changed and everything. Oh, he changed? That's crazy. What's up, Isaac? What's going on? What's going on? Not the bush light. Oh, no. Tell me what's going on? Not the bush light and the fucking swimmer, swimmer shorts. You want to tell me why I'm here? I don't know. If you want to lie to me, you can. Quick trip about. has phenomenal cameras. Where's your motorcycle at? I can tell you. Alright. You've been home all night. No, it's like 11. Since 11 p.m.? 11 ish. Alright. What happened to your face? How'd you get all scratched up? I've been, I got this at work at the other day. Alright. The dog, though, he bull. He the dog, though, he bullshit. That's so crazy. I opened it for the door. Where is your motorcycle at? I don't know. Nah, that's crazy. Why, mom, you're not supposed to gang up on him in the investigation. You're not supposed to ask me no questions in front of the officer, bro. Chill. It's not that deep. I thought you said it was here. Oh, my. Yo, mom is ill right now. I'm not going to lie, bro. I would never do this to my kid in front of the cops. I couldn't. I, I said, I, I, Y'all going to have to figure out this investigation. I'm not snitching on my on, on my son, bro. I'm not I, doing I, I, it. Like you, he, I, I heard him come home because the dog freaked out. Yeah. 11. Oh, it was. Okay. Yeah, uh, That's so crazy. I What'd you just say? <laughs> what? Oh, I think he said somebody dropped him off. <laughs> oh, no, he's cracking. Uh, who? My buddy Gavin dropped me off. Okay, huh? how'd you get to Gavin's house? My motorcycle. <laughs> You just said you was there. Where are you? He's at my buddy's house. Okay, how'd you get there? I got dropped off. You got dropped off? Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. You want to be honest with me, or are you just going to keep lying? I'm telling you. But I was right behind you when you crashed your bike, right? My mom snitched on my brother. We had a whole argument about it. I low-key don't fuck with them no more after that. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what do you mean them? She snitched on your brother, and you don't fuck with them because of it? I'm confused. Wasn't he the victim? You left Quick Trip, which has excellent cameras. Oh, I nah. watched you go into Quick Trip before you took off. So you want to be honest? Okay, I'll be honest. Okay, what were you thinking? I went okay, so I went over on my I went over to my buddy's house on my bike. Yep. And I, 
I you know, I just bought the thing. I'm not saying <laughs> Asians. You, you lit me up and you scared the crap out of me. I didn't know what to do, so I just ran like literally four houses down to Ma, calm the fuck down, bro. You acting like he just killed six people. House and I just sat there for an hour and then I came here. Okay. Dude, you realize riding uh, without a license is a ticket? I have a I have a permit. I Yeah, know, I, I know. I really that's a, that's I a really citation. Do you know what running from the cops is? Big problem. Yeah, I'm aware. It's a felony. So I'm gonna have you turn around and place your hands. Oh nah. <laughs> oh no! I thought they was gonna let him off with a warning. Not gonna lie, if I was a cop, I probably would have let him off with a warning. It's not that deep. <laughs> if this, if it's his first time, bro. If it's your first time, bro, I'm not about to do this to you. This not about to be the start. That's how it starts. That's crazy. Stand your back for me. Oh nah. You been drinking? No. Smell like alcohol. Oh nah. You're 19. Do you have some shoes and they'll have to change down at the jail? Maybe some shorts or something. The jail is so pants. crazy. Give me a minute. All right. Sounds good. Shoes, socks. Uh, just, just does he have some slip-on shoes and then some shorts or pants or yeah, something? Bro. Like that to so here's the deal. We have your bike. I don't know what you were thinking. That we weren't going to find you. The plates are on it. I wasn't thinking. Right, but I'm saying, I'm saying, right? If you the kid, how long you denying for on the hope that they just want you to fold? Well, first off, I'm not in the position to put myself in a situation where I'm on camera visibly after running from the police. Or, actually, no, he got out of the quick trip, and then they lit him up, I think they said, and then he started going. But still, you got to weigh your options, you know what I'm saying? If I think it's a traffic ticket, but you got to know what's going on. I've been flashed since I was like seven, eight years old. This probably his very first time. He probably shook up his fuck. He like, damn, that's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Flash by the police lights, you fucking idiots. Police lights, you idiots. Dumbass. But anyway, I don't know. I don't think it's that deep. If it's a 17-year-old, 18-year-old kid, bro, and, like, you got scared because you got flash or whatever the case is, all right, boom, I try to buy it. If you're not drinking, I'll let you off with a warning. But I'm going to impound your bike. Okay, that's the lesson, I feel like. That's enough of a lesson, in my opinion. I'll impound the bike. You got to pay for it to get it out. And I'm trying to think of another punishment, potentially. Maybe I'll still write you a ticket. But, like, this being your first thing, I don't know, bro. I just feel like that's extra, personally. That's fair. Hi. How much have you had to drink tonight, but be honest with me. I, like, I freaked out. I got home and had, like, three years. Okay, that's not true. Now you still lying. You definitely did not outrun the police and then get home and start drinking. That's not what happened, gang. After you got home? After. Where are the cans at? Take a deep breath in and blow it like you're blowing a balloon. There you go. Grab that straw. <clears throat> I still will let them off, though, to be honest. But I don't know. Drinking and driving is kind of different, especially on a motorcycle. But you had a bigger risk of hurting yourself than you are anybody else on the road if you're on a motorcycle. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how I would play it. Him still lying after that is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Kind of, kind of insane. Put it in your pocket. Think maybe you weren't thinking because you were drinking prior to. No. All right, I'm gonna put these back on, right? You, uh, you need to apologize to your mom. She raised you 19 years, and I'm assuming she raised you better than this. You know, that's not obvious. I don't know what it is. What was that? Hey. <laughs> no, why are you? <laughs> Cop fine as fuck. Wait, where? You she raised you better than this. Talking about this lady? Your mom. She raised you 19 years, and I'm assuming she raised you. You. Bro, are you serious? You talking about her? Who are you talking about? Where? It was an old nigga. We ain't seen this nigga's face, and it's her. Who are you talking about? No, nah, who said that? Who said that? What nasty nigga said? Hold on. I gotta find you. Where'd you go? You are so lucky. Oh, no, I found you. What the fuck is wrong with you? Cop fine as fuck. Where? I put these back on, right? I just got him out the way. She looks like the strangest thing 11 girl. Stop. You, uh, you need to apologize to your mom. She raised you 19 years, and I'm assuming she raised you better than this? You know, if that's not obvious, I don't know what it is. Oh, that? And if that's not obvious, I don't know what it is. You're lucky you didn't kill yourself. You're not wearing a helmet. 
Bro, look. I'm sorry, bro. Bro, look. Bro, come on, man. This is the officer that's stopping me? A nigga that ain't hit the gym in 17 years? I don't know, bro. I might outrun him, too. I have no respect for you. I'm sorry. If it wasn't for this gear, I beat the shit out. I'm just I get why some niggas run. I do. I get it. I get it. Because you get to stop me? That sound crazy. Sorry. Bit further. There you go. It's the, <laughs> the t-shirt is like a white dude's bad suit is hilarious bro i feel like this is extra but i get why he got to get off the road because he's drinking but i still feel like that's a lot to put on a 19 year old bro you know how hard it's gonna be to get out of that not really not really D U D W I or dw or dui is something you can you can get you can get out of you can get out of that now underage drinking and evading the police is different though that's a lot to get hit with, bro. I don't know if I want to do that as somebody's first little charge. I don't think so. Friday, so he might be there all weekend okay. until the judge sees and maybe they'll give him a bond before that or not. So he'll be able to make phone calls down there. Okay. All right. I appreciate you being so helpful. Do you have, like I asked him, do you have a card or any information or anything? Be the case. Three to seven months. He just got the bike because he doesn't really know how to ride it very well. Nope. And he wasn't <laughs> That's why they be shooting out of shape. I get where you're coming from, man. There are times I walk into stores and see security or see a cop patrolling a town and feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> bro, not gonna lie, bro. Some of them niggas, I'm like, bro, if I really wanted to, could you stop me? It sounds fucked up, but I'm just like, why did they put you on duty today? Like they should have, they should have just, should have just got somebody else or hired, like hired a bodyguard for this job, bro. Cause I'm getting, I'm having my way, I'm having my way, bro. And you can't, you can't, like you can't stand against me. That's what's fucked up. That is a pretty silly decision. Trust me. If you do it over again, I wouldn't. Hey, what's your name? What's up? What's your name? Charlie. Well, I'm sorry to meet you under these circumstances, but nice to meet you, Charlie. Yeah. I used to ride, man. I get it. Bikes are fast. They're fun. But especially when you're learning. Uh, you know, I just bought this thing. I, and I, was, I, I guess I don't... Well, I, I don't know why you're trying to pull me over in the first place. But I was scared you got me like going like 20 over. And I was scared shitless. And just... I, was trying to, I was trying to stop you because I knew you didn't have your license. I have my permit. I know, but you can't ride at night and you have to wear a helmet. Okay, I know that. I guess, um... How the hell could you tell them? You can't negotiate at this point, uh, Tyler. Uh, what did he say his name was? Paul? I don't remember what his name was. I'm not going to lie. Right your plate. Even if you would have got away, I would have come to your house. Also, it's pretty easy to tell with the way oh, you were James. riding that you were probably Charlie. A new No, not the cop. I'm talking about the kid. Rider. Yeah. You were turning on the wrong blinker. You turned on your hazards. <laughs> his name is not Caleb. What's his name? Oh, it's Isaac. You're right. It's Isaac. It's right. Right? I had an R6 for a while. Can y'all stop trolling? I had uh, Victory Octane. The 650 is a good starter bike to learn how to ride. But wear a helmet. Especially at night when you're riding out in the country with deer. The deer are really bad right now. It's His not name is you. not Sean. Drunk people out. And I'm assuming you didn't know that was a dead end? Obviously not. Wouldn't yeah, have went I that know, way. I did not know it was dead end, but... I figured unless you were a really good rider, that wet grass was not going to go well for you. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, there's not really any damage on it. Okay, well, I, I you know... Not like I'll be able to ride it. After all this shit, though, I'll be able to ride it with That's what I'm saying. And, like, it'll be at least a year, right? Uh, yeah, no, your license is probably going to get suspended. My motorcycle or my driver's? I think both. Yeah, you're not going nowhere, gang. <laughs> like, I don't know what he thought he was going to be eligible to ride in a car if the bike said, if they sitting on to the bike, like, could I still ride in my car, in my whip? No, you're finished. He fucked you. Really, you fucked yourself, but he fucked you harder. Passenger on homecoming or during prom, not in the backseat of a limo or nothing like that, it's, it's kind of wild. As a young male. 
Yeah. As a young man. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight in that door, right? Have to go to the left when we go in. I'm just gonna have you sit down. I gotta type some stuff and then we'll come out, all right? Oh, uh, you got my phone? Where was it? It was in my pocket when I got, when I got in the car. I don't think it was. I didn't put it in your pocket. This will be crazy if he wanted to try to get him to go to the car and then him flee. In cuffs would be insane. Would he try this? That would be the most gangster shit I ever seen in my life. He wouldn't do that though. He not built like that. Uh, I didn't. When I checked you, it wasn't in there. So unless one of the other officers grabbed it, just sit down for me. I'll check before. All right, I'll check before I leave. Bro. Isaac was charged with felony vehicle fleeing eluding an officer and received a load of traffic citations totaling over $1,700. Lastly, he was eventually released on a $1,000 signature. Bro, what the fuck? Uh, head over to codebluecam.com. Fuck you niggas, no. Are you serious? Can't you get that expunged though? That type of thing you can get removed. Like that's not that deep. But that's going to stick with you for a little bit. But he probably won't get his first place. If he's 19 years old, he probably won't get his first place until. But damn, you can really come up early, early in life. You can really come up early in life and then. Like be out of the parents' house by like 20, 22 to 23. Reasonably speaking at the earliest, you know what I'm saying? So they kind of just stunted bro's growth. I don't know how long they have to be on there for you to try to get it expunged, but fuck. L. Isaac. Rest in peace voting rights. He wasn't going to vote anyway. You really don't you don't really exercise your voting for real and know what the fuck you're talking about until you like mid 20. That's when it really starts to like kick in like, OK, nah, this shit's starting to hit. Like you can they can pretend when they're young that they know what they're talking about. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't. It's OK, though. I think it's like seven years before you can expunge. Yeah, I think it's a minute. It's a little it's a little bit of a time. Last time you voted, I'm not telling you. He going. Wait, what? <laughs> no, he's not. He'll be fine. Perks beating his ass in that pick. No, they're not. Let me see. Tanner looked like I don't know why I just said that. Isaac like somebody I went to school with. Let me see. Nah, bro, he's he's chilling. But you know who he looked like? I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna leave it alone. Please vote in your local elections. Of course, vote in your local elections. But still, most people, uh, if I, I'm like an 18 year old to like a 20 year old, nine times out of ten, don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But they definitely should. I'm not tell, I'm not discouraging them from voting, but. Uh, a lot of the time it's more trendy than than based in any in any actual like uh problem solving shit for uh, for a lot of young people who first get their op first opportunity to vote but then once like i said once they get a little bit older then they like okay now nah, now nah, i get it like now nah, i know what this mean now nah, now nah, now nah, shit about the pop like this new voice what new voice of course i vote what new voice though wait who was fine as fuck who said I didn't vote? You niggas do not listen. That's true. However, most Gen Zers are knowledgeable about social causes. Yeah, I'm not saying they're not, but I feel like where you get the information is as important as getting the information because sometimes getting the information from any source, depending on the source, can make voting uh, more of a trend as opposed to like, okay, I have a genuine interest and now I have a newfound knowledge of this thing that I could actually discuss with somebody if they ask me why I'm voting this particular thing. Uh, and especially as we talking about voting locally and shit like that. So that, that's really, that was really it. But if you develop genuine interest in that shit later on, I feel like that's, it don't come until like a few years in, not when you first start. But of course there are people that like it, which is fine. Um, Hold on. Hold on. What is this rupees? You know, rupees, I made a song for you. What the fuck is this? Like on Fane and other snippets if you heard them. Uh, it's cool. But people still debating whether that's even Cardi. But if I'm assuming it is, uh, 
I don't really have a, a a stance on it. I don't expect that to be his new standard voice. So it is what it is. You gaming tonight? Should I game? Do I play a game? It was Travis. I don't. I, I still don't know who it is. It says right there, Playboy Cardi. People still saying yes. People saying no. Memes. Okay, I'm gonna do memes and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a game and then we're done. Actually, I shouldn't be that eager to get off because I'm not gonna play tomorrow. I'm not gonna be on tomorrow. I know I lied and said that I was gonna be on tomorrow, but the thing is, duty calls and. <laughs> 